Hey everyone, real quickly before this video starts, I just want to give a huge thank you because we just hit 200 subscribers here on my YouTube channel and I cannot believe that. That is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for the amazing love and support. It means so much. And so not just the fact that we hit 200, but how quickly we got there. And so y'all guys are awesome. Let's see if we can get this channel to 300 subscribers but if there's any other types of videos you would like to see from me on my channel definitely leave them in the comment section down below and if there's any recipes you would like for me to like try and recreate definitely let me know i'll try and take a look at them for you but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers enjoy this video and i will talk to y'all later bye Hey everyone, my name is Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. And so for this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some delicious carnitas tacos. And it is absolutely delicious. It's really easy to make. It's just a little time consuming, but I'm going to show you how I made them. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off by prepping our meat. And I just have a bone-in pork shoulder roast right here. And so I'm just going to, of course, start prepping it by taking it out of the packaging, giving it a good rinse, and then we are going to start cutting this up into little pieces of meat. So I'm just taking out the packaging, just giving it a thick dice here, just so it'll be easier to work with. And of course, like I said, you always want to work with a sharp knife, but just be careful. And so I'm just cutting these into slices and then I'm cutting them into big pieces and then cutting those big pieces into like smaller to medium sized pieces. But you can make them as big or as little as you want. Just note that the bigger they are, the longer it, it's going to take for them to cook. And so the smaller the piece, the shorter time it will cook. But the bigger the piece, the longer it will take time to cook. And so I just have a big pan here, and usually you make carnitas with lard, but I didn't have any, so I am just using some vegetable shortening. And I am using three heaping tablespoons here. Got my second one, and now my third one, and you just want to let that melt over medium to medium high heat. And I have about half an onion and a couple of cloves of garlic, and just pop those in. Again, be careful because the oil will be a little hot. And just pop those in and move them around a little bit just so they don't stick to the bottom of the pan and now we are going to add our meat and you don't want to layer them you want to make sure that they're all flat and they're all touching the bottom of the pan and touching the grease because we are going to try and make them nice and crispy on the outside so don't layer them just try and make them as even as possible and you want to constantly make the you know rotate the meat give them a good flip so that nothing sits to the bottom of the pan so keep that on rotation okay so it's been about 10 15 minutes so we're taking out our garlic cloves we don't need those anymore and just move things around make sure nothing's sticking flip it turn it do what you gotta do so that the meat doesn't stick okay so we're gonna let that cook for about 10 15 minutes and now we are going to take out our onions we don't need those any longer either we already got all that delicious flavor from them and the garlic as well. And so by removing those onions, we have a little bit more room in the pan now. And so again, just keep the meat moving, flip it, just make sure that nothing's sticking to the pan. Okay, and so now we are adding about half a cup of Coke. And one can of evaporated milk. And it's just going to give it that nice caramelization of the meat. Give that a good mix. Again, make sure nothing's sticking to the pan. Want to make sure the soda and the evaporated milk are well incorporated together. And they'll soak up all of that flavor into the meat. Okay, so now we are going to take an orange. And we're just going to give that orange a good squeeze. Get all those juices out. And then we are going to pop that into the pan as well. And you're going to do the same to the other half of that orange. Give it a good squeeze. And just pop that into the pan as well. And it's going to be so delicious. Just give it a good mix. Make sure everything's nice and even. 
nothing sticking and now we're going to add our seasonings which is some thyme I'm just doing a couple of sprinkles with some pepper and some salt right, and again just giving that a good mix and flipping the meat making sure nothing's sticking all right, and so now we're gonna let this cook for about two hours but again depending on how big of pieces of meat yours are it may take a little bit longer or may take a little bit shorter time so it's been cooking for about 45 minutes now and so we are going to take our oranges out of the pot and just giving that a good mix making sure nothing's sticking all right, and so these have been cooking for a total of like an hour, hour and a half. And so now I'm just taking them out of the pan. All of those ingredients that we added did their job. Nice and caramelized, absolutely delicious. And now we're going to take it to our prep station so we can start chopping it up and start assembling our tacos. And so I'm just giving them a rough chop. You can cut them however you prefer. And as you just saw, we couldn't keep our hands out of the bowl because this meat was absolutely delicious, you guys. You have to try this recipe. Alright, and so now is our assembling time. So I'm just taking a couple of corn tortillas and just doing what you do, which is assemble the taco. And so just take a little bit of the meat. Okay, and I'm just adding some onions. Some cilantro. And we have to add some fresh lime juice, of course. And so just give that a little squeeze over the meat as well. Okay, and so our final step we are going to add my homemade salsa if you want to see how i made that i'll link that video in the description box below so definitely check that out because this salsa is the bomb you guys like it's absolutely amazing it goes perfectly with this dish and there you have it And there you have it, some delicious dining thoughts. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I, as always, enjoy making it for you. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that subscribe button along with that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. But until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye.